It's time to raise a glass to fall. The season officially arrives next week, so if you're looking to stock up or you're in need of giving a gift, well, winemaker or restaurateur Joe Bastianich has some great American ideas. Joe, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for the, having me. That was great to have you. By the way, you've been running marathons, which I is why been, you've yeah. lost so much <laughs> weight, which is congratulations thank to you. you. Thank you very Meantime, much. Meantime, we're, we're talking about wines all under the age, uh, under the, age, under the uh, <laughs> price of 25 right. $25. $25. And also, they are from New York all the way to California, but what right. you're going to do is give us a sideways moment this right. morning, well, we're, we're learning gonna, how to and judge them. I think we're going to talk about the bounty of American wines, regional American wines, and kind of going into the fall seasons, how a lot of these red wines often throw out like scents sense and descriptions that we are mm. familiar with. So like we have Cabernet Franc, which people talk about as having brown notes or brown spices, nutmeg, pepper. You have uh, Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon licorice, porcini mushrooms, or raspberries, or uh, Pinot Noir. I know one of your favorites with people, a classic smell of Pinot Noir would be uh, berries, ocean, you know, dark fruit, or uh, balsamic vinegar. So this is the thing, is if you pick up these glasses of wine, you, you if you really think smell. about it, that's what we're talking about. So the Cabernet right. Franc is, would have the... Cabernet Franc, dry brown spices. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley, so licorice, porcini, very woodsy flavored. Pinot Noir, more berry berries. fruit. Merlot. Blueberry pie is the classic mm, smell of yum. Merlot. Yeah. Or do, you, do, you, do you smell kind of a blueberry pie? Um, I'm actually catching an apple crumb. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that, Joe? How's, yeah. he, how's his nose? His nose, his nose is, an, is an evolution. In, <laughs> your nose is an evolution. I always feel stressed, though, about what am I supposed to smell, and well, am I smelling it? That's exactly it. I mean, it's not, you know, it's, it's certain wines do smell like certain things, and mm -hmm. it's our job to know that. But other things are less obvious, and some things are more obvious, mm -hmm. especially with these regional wines to go with you know, the holidays good. that are approaching. Now that you mention it, if you go from glass to glass, you can smell the difference. Oh, you really can smell the yeah, difference. Smell mine. Yep. This not, is not just about being <laughs> hoity toity no, and not, and not, not at all. And I think that once we as wine drinkers mm, understand what we like wow. in a wine, it gives us a better ability to order and to either buy the kind of wine Some we want for entertaining or if we're in a restaurant to order the kind of wine we want. Mm. So, uh. seriously, can you? I know you're supposed to clear your palate, but right. how would you clear, you know, your, your olfactory sense. I, I, you know, just a, just a deep breath of fresh air is mm -hmm. all it takes. You clear your mind and you're spiritually ready to taste the wine and the next Because at the fragrance counter, they give you coffee beans. I don't know if that, well, if you, you drink know, coffee, if that cleanses your palate. No, coffee's too strong. But the olfactory sensation, or we call it what we smell in a wine, is 90% of the experience. We can only mm -hmm. taste like six or eight things on our palate. Really? really? But we could smell hundreds of things. Mm -hmm. And the olfactory is what, what jogs our memory. Mm -hmm. So when you taste a lot of wines, you create a database of aromas that you refer back to. So really what you're talking about is developing uh, a, a nose, as you were talking about right. in evolution, and developing a tongue. But ultimately what you're telling us is that we can figure out what we would really enjoy, right. what, what we would really, really enjoy, make right. us happy. And if we're going to have that glass of wine, which we're told is good for our bodies, good right. for our hearts, if we just have a little of it then we can figure out what we really like. What you really like, so you don't have to waste your time going through a lot of things. Like I'll now is trying, it's a, uh, it's a Zinfandel from Central mm -hmm. Crows, from Seth Coonan, which is an indigenous varietal, so another very sexy wine. Ooh. Sexy wine. Sexy wine. Sexy wine. Sexy wine. Is it sexy? Oh, I like a sexy it's, wine. It's, it's beautiful, <laughs> it's fruity, it's seamless, and sexy. It's okay. very much like myself. Uh, <laughs> Joe Mastianich, good luck thank in the New York Marathon. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you go. Thank, thank you for you. teaching us something about wine this morning. And season. still to come on today, CNBC's Common Wong Ulrich answers your financial questions. Plus, wild animals are invading the studio. Uh-oh. But first, your local news, and we're not talking about you, Al. That's right. Drink up, Shriners. <laughs>